good morning students today in the energy conservation practice subject we will discuss about the core subjective 5 the core subjective 5 is nothing but selection selection and operation aspects of dg set the dg is nothing but diesel engine set for uh, energy efficiency selection and operation aspects of diesel generator set dg set is nothing but diesel engine generator set e is silent and dg is d for diesel and um, uh, g for generator diesel generator set for energy efficiency so in this course outcome we will slightly discuss about the uh, working principle of diesel engine and uh, what is the advantages of uh, diesel generator set and how we can select the diesel generation set for our application and what are all the energy conservation aspects you can consider while operating diesel generator set all these things we will discuss here so with this i will move over to the uh, pdf document where we can discuss for the basic working principle of diesel engine first and then we will proceed for the diesel generator set dg system that is nothing but diesel generating system and here the diesel engine is the prime mover for this system which drives an alternator alternator is nothing but electricity generator to produce electrical energy right this is the uh, thing you need to understand here diesel engine is the prime mover which drives an alternator to produce electrical energy right so now the dg set can be classified according to the cycles number of cycles that is working cycles uh, that can be considered as two stroke and four stroke however the bulk uh, of uh, diesel ic engines ic engine is nothing but ic engine is nothing but diesel engine so uh, ic engines use the four stroke cycle so here after we will discuss about the four stroke cycles so diesel engine with four stroke type we are going to discuss that means the minimum minimal working principle here we are going to discuss the four stroke operations in diesel engines are these are the four strokes induction stroke induction stroke and uh, uh, compression stroke and ignition and power stroke and exhaust stroke so these are the four strokes so now we will discuss each and every stroke how the working principle will happen so here you can see this picture it is a piston like operation this is the piston with two valves one is uh, normally open and normally closed valves and this is the piston arrangement and here the shaft which converts the rotational moments into an uh, linear moments this piston moments so this moment is nothing but a linear moment and this moments will be in this form of circular moments right so now in the induction stroke what will happen while the inlet valve is open the descending piston draws the in fresh air so this moments will happen via this valve fresh air will be taken inside the piston cylinder that is the induction stroke and second is compression stroke now this is once again the uh, forward moment first initial is backward moment now the piston forward moment that time this wall will be in the closed condition so you are uh, already this chamber is full of uh, what is the content inside this yes uh, there is an uh, atmospheric air so now that will be compressed to a certain extent so that you can see while the walls are closed the air is compressed to the pressure of up to 25 bar so that volume is reduced and uh, air pressure is increasing so that is what happened in the second compression stroke and third is ignition and power stroke so here the two process will happen one is firing another one is uh, delivering the power stroke so fire here via a fuel injection uh, nozzle so in a two wheeler you, you can consider there is a spark plug in such a system 
uh, and also there will be a fuel injection system. So now the fuel is injected through a fuel injection system uh, while the valves are closed, both valves are closed. The fuel ignites spontaneously using a spark plug like arrangements uh, within a, a fraction of a second your fuel will be ignited and what will happen it will be similar to a bursting of bursting operation so inside the uh, chamber there will be a compressed air inside the compressed air you are uh, feeding a fuel and immediately you are firing so now that uh, because of the atmospheric air and fuel and the firing operation the bursting operation will happen that is firing operation will happen at that time the piston moves once again backward with effectively that means uh, with the maximum inertia so now this strokes will be considered as ignition and power stroke so right so now uh, three strokes completed the fourth one last one is exhaust stroke so during the after the combustion this chamber has a less pressure uh, gas so previously it is atmospheric air now it is less pressure gas because of the firing operation that is almost like a uh, exhaust gas right so the exhaust valve is open and rising the piston discharge once again your piston is going for the forward movement so now that time your uh, uh, burn gases will send out via the this exhaust valve so one is inlet valve another one is exhaust valve so now with these two valves and the cylinder arrangement and the fuel injection system as well as the firing system you can understand the operation of diesel four stroke diesel engine right so you can see the first is downward movement and second is another 90 degree for forward movement another 90 degree for uh, backward movement another 90 degree for uh, forward movement totally you will get a 1360 degree revolution out of this stroke right and this is what uh, you need to understand with respect to the diesel engine working principle now we will move to the dg set system as i already told that dg is nothing but diesel generating system dg set right so now the dg set comprises of what component one is diesel engine and it accessories so diesel engine and it accessories that is cooling system uh, fuel feeding system and uh, uh, speed control system everything is nothing but considered as accessories and also we have a ac generator so there is an alternating current generator and control system and switch gears so which controls both the diesel engine as well as the uh, AC generators which has a feedback control system and another is uh, foundation and powerhouse civil works so to uh, 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 fix all those uh, setups in a particular system you need a foundation huge foundation and civil works the connector load with its own components like heating motor drives lighting etc so which is nothing but a connector load now you can imagine in our college so there is a power house so hope you uh, seen that nearby the two wheeler stand uh, you can see a diesel generating unit set so where you have this diesel gen engine uh, you have a ac generator and uh, you have a control units everything so that uh, civil works also uh, is already uh, existing in there if while visiting the college you can see that also right so connector load is whatever we are operating in our college it's nothing but a connector load right this is for general understanding now when you go for the selection of dg's uh, system what are the things you need to consider to make a decision on the type of engine which is most suitable for the specific applica application several factors need to be considered so here in this selection consideration diesel engine alone how we have to select that alone we are going to discuss not we are going to discuss about the selection of ac generators only diesel engine so uh, our focus is uh, on the diesel engines right 
so here you need to consider the two most important factors one is uh, power and another one is speed of the engine so what is the capacity of the engine and what is the speed of the engine right uh, the power requirement is determined by the maximum load that means whatever the load you are going to connect here that will decide the ac generator and that ac generator will decide the power capacity of the diesel engine so right that is nothing but your maximum load determined at by the maximum flow right the engine power rating should be 10 to 20 percentage more than the power demand by the end user so suppose here you have a, a 100 kva means you need to go for at least 120 kva capacity of diesel engines so in such a way you need you have some uh, back support right so to carry out the overloading this prevents overloading the machine by absorbing extra load during the starting of motor or switching other things right so whenever you switch on a, uh, any inductive elements in your houses so you can see when you switch on your uh, motor that is water motor, uh, pump motor you can uh, realize there is a blinking nature in the tube lights that is what is the meaning of that means at the time of starting alone your motor consumes some extra current so to carry out that extra currents this excess so excess uh, power requirement is uh, required one right so now next thing is speed speed is measured at the output shaft and given in revolution per minute diesel engine or output la you can measure what is the speed that speed will be in the uh, unit of revolution per minute rpm so why this rpm is important means this rpm will decide the frequency of this alternating current output supply and suppose these loads are operated in 50 hertz you need to constantly maintain 50 hertz frequency in the sinusoidal frequency and the output of ac generator then you need to maintain a certain constant frequency at the input of ac generator or at the output of diesel engine so that is why you need to select this speed an engine will operate over a range of speed with diesel engine typically running at lower speeds so your diesel engines always runs at the lower speed between the order of 1300 to 3000 rpm so in between this you need to select an optimum speed at which your fuel efficiency will be greatest so that is the two things major things you need to consider right apart from this you need to consider various other factors that is nothing but when choosing an engine for a particular application you need to select this particular cooling system and particular uh, environmental conditions that is uh, dust and uh, dirt available in the particular system suppose you are going to operate an diesel engine in a cotton industry there will be a huge uh, dust and in that cases you need to think about the uh, water cooling system or some other oil cooling system instead of air cooling system because your air vents will be uh, accumulated with dust so such things you need to consider and you need to consider the fuel quality and speed governing that is fixer or variable speed so you need to select a speed governing system depending upon the applications if you require a constant speed you need to go for a speed governing system and poor maintenance so maintenance part you need to consider and control systems starting equipments drive type ambient temperature even altitude and humidity will participate the efficiency aspects of the diesel engine so that is these are the things you need to further consider in addition to your power and speed of the diesel engine right so now another thing is this diesel engine will be operated as captive power plants what is captive power plants means will be operated for peak loads that means for a short duration alone this will be operated and uh, power plants are most frequently used in a small power system so smaller size to meet out only the peak power 
that is main reason of for this is that 